Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Divinity Original Sin 2 Let's Play, this time with episode 15. And we are here with Elodie in Sahelia's cave. Sahelia's. Sahila. Sahila. One day I'll figure it out. Anyway, well, we have somewhere we can go, but we need to get through this barricade first. Let's ask... Fane, if he would be so kind. We could also simply if we were strong enough, move it or use telekinesis on it. But where's the fun in that? Sometimes in the world of Rivalon, it pays to try and break through things. Because you just might find something on the other side, like experience. Now, poison won't harm the undead, but seems only courteous to get it out of the way. Shabby boots, lockpicks, my healing potion, worn sandals, boots were two, and well, Sabeel's rocking no shoes at all, and now she has little ankle bracelets sure to protect her feet as well as any work boot okay poisoned fish pie and a poisoned bottle of beer good good okay seems like a weird little place so oh well, i don't know it seems like it might be uh behoove us to something isn't right here it could be an ambush Sneak a bit. Maybe even the sneak right over there. And then peek out. Okay, who's still hiding? Fane. Well, seems like we have someone right here. There's someone right there. We have someone right there. Who's up first? You. Well then. Hmm. Okay, well. I think it might be better to just remove This fella ways. And why don't we slow him down? As much as we can. Which isn't much. Oh no, that wasn't very nice. Now was it? We didn't throw our lunch up on you. Okay, maybe Fane did. I don't know. I wasn't watching. Loza? You give him what for? Uh-oh. Well, fine then. She's just gonna encourage everyone. Sibyl. Well, let's get rid of you. Oh, well, I can't win them all, but we can try. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think this could... Oh, it could. 
Okay. I'll take it. Losa and Sabeel. Nope, they're not. They're not coming out of the poison. Come on, everybody out of the poison. At least, you know, everybody who's offended by it. Let's see. Resurrection scroll. That's good. Children's gloves. Uh-huh. Poison flask. A fuse. And let's kick off a bit of rest. And ask Fane to, well, you know what, before we do that, let's just go take a look at what's in this box over here. And this frog, an improvised staff, 38 gold. Apparently, being a frog pays well. Ripped shirt for four physical armor, long branch, earth essence, and a shell. And a crate with nails. You know what, I can live without nails right now. Okay, so I will head checkers down here, ask Fane to light us up, and let's see, we've got some boxes here, more shabby boots, two-hander, shell, gold, some oil we left on the floor, oh, and a chest, you say. Just put that right there. Rain scroll, plate, and 105 gold. Okay. Fourteen gold. And a melted dwarf. And Fourteen more gold. Now, let's see, we picked up another set of shoes and a shirt. I think everybody's got armor, but shoes. Loza could use some shoes. There we go. And frogs dealt with. We have help. We survive. So we leave. The frogs are gone. The children shall be safer. I see the good in you. I see all of you. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I leave my shirt unbuttoned again? All right. Off we go. Now... Buddy, we weren't able to save Buddy's friend. Someone told me that it is possible, but I've never ever been able to do it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I have a stat too low somewhere. But every time I've en ever entered Emmy's room, they've been hostile. So we do have uh, some more magisters to deal with. Actually, we want to go this way. We could cut through there, but there's always that chance of a magister running into us. There's no sense taking that chance right now. Okay. There we go. And through here. And now we've got folks out here. It's everything to do with the paladin. Okay. Let's checkers and Sabeel. 
Losa and Fain. Checkers and Sabeel. Okay, let's. This may not make any difference, but it might. Nope, no difference. Alright, well. Let's see. We have Paladin Cork here, who seems to be an ally. And then we have Magister Captain Triple. Triple the fun. I wonder if I can get him without getting the good paladin. Hmm. That's interesting. Definitely hit him, but it didn't slow him. I wonder if they've changed something. Anyway, well. Fine then. I'll we'll just slap him down on the oil barrel. Now he's slowed. And Cork set him on fire. You go, Cork. But at least he has peace of mind while his toes are burning. And still burning. Oh, hi. He's taken a nice amount of magical damage, but really the only thing we can do is hit him with some more oil and fire. Which, funny as that may be, won't get us closer to getting through his armor. Which is what we really need. Cork. Keeping Cork alive can be a challenge. Benefit? Mm. I wouldn't sweat it if you lose Cork, but... Oh, you guys haven't even... Yes, yes, look. No, don't pickpocket Fane. Don't pickpocket Fane. Oh, open the door. There you go. Oh, boy. load anymore. I could knock him down, but it's not that much of a threat. Still an oil flask. Might slow him down again and might be funny. Nope, didn't slow him down. Oh, see now that wasn't very nice. Oh, sorry, Cork. We we're supposed to be watching you, huh? Path is interrupted, is it? Well... Not too interrupted to... Not be able to teleport old... Triple here back into the fire. And then shoot him. Terribly sneaky. We never even saw you coming. I 
you hanging out with your boss? And then, because fire is funny. Boom. Now, let's see. You wanted to sneak behind us. That wasn't very sporting. Cork lost his armor. Well done, Cork. And it looks like we do have a shot. So. Fire to these folks. Okay, nothing for Sabeel over here. But this this fella liked oil. Let's give him some. It's probably sad that he's missing his own oil. There we go. And, oh, let's see. Nope, can't get this one. Can get these guys. So... I feel like we should get at least a little height bonus. There we go. And... I doubt... No, he's out of range. Okay. I think we're just going to take the shot. There we go. Cork is still working on this one ranger. The whole reason this is a team of wayfarers is having fought against a significant number of rangers and the uh, Magister equivalent of Wayfarers. I wanted to try my hand at being that annoying. Okay, now Sabeel. We're going to use Flesh Sacrifice. And... Oh, I was really hoping she might have an angle on that. Oh well. Can't win them all. Let's see. Oh... That was downright depressing. OK. 
Okay. Actually, let's pull this guy back here. And I think we're also going to drop some oil on that. Oh, Cork. Cork is so barely hanging on. Okay. Okay, one down. Hang in there, Cork. Or not. Your choice. Personally, I'd choose the hang in there option, but... Okay, he's got one more shot he can share with the world. I think this fella is it, but he's out of range. Okay, save it up. Tactical retreat. Uh, she can only get into the fire, but I think it's the only chance we've got to save Cork. If we even have a chance to save Cork. Sorry, Sabeel. Oh boy. Hadn't planned on that. Okay, well... This fella, huh? Cork. Alright, well, oh wait. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, what was I thinking? Alright, anyway. End turn. At least we oiled this one up. Okay, can't use tactical retreat. I can still hit this one. Can't hit this one. Can't help Cork. Well, can't do anything else. You do what you can. Uh, I think Cork is going down. Oh well, we tried. Sort of. Mostly. feel like she's in sight. But no. Oh, so close. Well. Close enough for that, anyway. Okay, and turn. I wouldn't do that. You're just going to make her mad. Fun. He should set everything on fire. And then we shoot her. Oh. He's almost in range, though. But at least the floor is not on fire, so. 2 AP. Probably, well, four, we get a shot in. And there we go. 
bummer about cork. All right. Well, you can't win them all. Actually, where's... Where do we leave Triple? He wasn't inside, was he? No. We've got a swordsman with fire essence. Magister Ranger. Oh, I think I see him. He's uh, this puddle of ooze. A sunflower ring plus one to scoundrel, 158 gold. A Magister triples two-hander, 14 to 16 physical damage. Plus one strength. Captain Triple's key. Large key dangling from the fine chain seems like it would be just the right size to fit a gate's lock. Find a healing potion and a fire arrow. Magister Ranger. And what else? Cork. Last poor cork. I knew him not, Horatio. Bloodied leg, huh? 14 gold, trap disarming kit, lockpicks. Interesting gear for a paladin. Sabeel. How about you eat? You are a man, a human man. They called you a paladin for most of your life. As the blade slices through your neck, a single name echoes through your mind. Ahu. Uh-huh. Okay. And a Magister Ranger. Fire arrow 30 gold. And a Magister Swordsman. With a large Divine Order key, this large iron key has been embossed with a Magister's emblem, though you can see the sigil of the Divine partially obscured beneath it. Okay. Let's hook everybody back together. Take a look at loot potential. Got a drawbridge here. Somebody dropped their boat. Well done. Excellent wheel turning. Zalaskar should be right there. And, well, okay, I guess we can. Even he is not super excited about climbing up to check the boxes. Like, dude, they're just crates. Let me back down. Because there's a chest right there. Hundred and fourteen gold. There was also a chest inside. Fane, be a deer. Be a deer and get rid of that oil, would you? Benefits of being undead, lockpicking without lockpicks. Benefits of a classical education. Alright, ornate chest. Copper ring, 61 gold, fire arrow. And 15 more gold. Nothing. An iron maiden, which does exactly what an iron maiden does. Make lots of little owies. All right. Long branch, we can leave that. Another chest. Empty canister worth a hundred. An empty bulbous cylinder stoppered with pockmarked and tarnished brass. The embossed metal worker's mark hails from a faraway military munitions factory. Sinew worth 65 and 129 gold. Munchies, lots of munchies. There is a Magister's breastplate. And that is 317. Feeling it over some of those other ones. Some books. A heavy metal crate. Thirty-eight gold. 
and reinforced crate with slimy mitts. How tempting. Lock picks. Just move that out of the way to get to this well-worn chest with mage's pants, five magic, one physical armor, 129 gold. And, oh, I'm not so obsessed that I'll go check that crate. I can live without it. Barely. Actually, quite barely. But minor healing potion. All right, let's take a look at everyone. Pants, five, one, three, five. Hmm, sure, have some magical pants. Three, but she doesn't have the strength 11 to carry it off. Okay, so let's, hey, you know what? Got our collar off, we can actually wear Sahelia's crest. And let's see, we've got a scoundrel plus one scoundrel ring, which will at least boost our critical multiplier. And there we go. I think we will pause here on our 15th expedition here and pick up again next time. For the moment, I would like to say thank you for watching and wish you a happy holidays if you celebrate. Uh, as I said, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and share if you so desire, and to ask you, above all, to please take care.